It's uh, Monday, October 5th. I'm here with Bill Walls at the Cliff Workins Farm in Erie, Illinois. John Deere 9600. Some uh, pretty good beans. Uh, we are seeing quite a difference in yield, however, from one area of the field to another, as we would expect. It's uh, fairly dramatic. In some places, we're seeing uh, almost a two to one difference in yield. Right now, these beans seem to be fairly uniform where we're at. Uh, there was a spot back over there that we were seeing about two to one difference in yield. We harvested one grain tank, uh, measured it, uh, took it to the elevator, weighed it came back at, uh, it was 219 bushels. We corrected our cal number and are now pretty well set. The acres, speed, uh, and bushels seem to agree uh, fairly closely with what uh, we see in the grain tank and uh, our other sources such as the combine uh, speed uh, readout. Again, this particular area right here is fairly uniform beans, as you can see, not too much variation in the, uh, in the yield. What you're looking at right now is the instantaneous yield rate. Bill, would you push total harvest, please? We'll look at the total bushels. Okay, so far since we've reset it, uh, 532 bushels harvested. What do you think so far? Good. Good. Everything is uh, diving up pretty straight. It's kind of interesting to see the difference in yield, don't yeah, think? it is. I mean, you can't already believe there's that much difference. In, you know, you can see it, but you, it don't look like there'd be that much. Two to one is, you know, quite a bit of difference in one field. If you put it back on rate for me, please. Uh, okay. Right now we're reading uh, somewhere in the mid 50s as we go along. We see about a 15 second delay the way we're set right now between when you head into the crop and when you start reading. And uh, we have the uh, run hold switch hooked up so we'll get an acre count. Now you can see as we get down towards the end of the field here, the beans are thinning out a little bit. We're seeing down in the 40s rather than in the 50s. Yeah. There's a light spot coming up at the end down there. A few weeds, not too many, but uh, I'll zoom in on the readout. We're down to 31. Again, we had been in the mid 50s earlier in the field. Up there, up to 40. Down again around 31. Now we're getting down into 24 or 22, which is about where Bill guessed it would be. Good guess, Bill. Near the end of the pass here, you can see the beans are a little lighter. We're turning around, we're making another uh, entry into the crop. Read zero for about 15 seconds, and we'll gradually come up as the beans proceed from the header to the top of the clean grain elevator. 
Okay, now we're starting to hit. It's probably equalized right now. We're about 29 bushels to the acre. 30 bushels. Kind of short, short beans here, but there are quite a few pods on them. Now we're getting into some uh, a little bit taller crop. We expect it to be a little heavier. Now in about 15 seconds, we'll see an increase in the yield. There it goes there. I'll try to keep it at a point where you can see both the, the crop and the, uh, the yield numbers. I hope it comes out. Now down the other end of the field, when we uh, moved down about a quarter mile or so, we were in the 50 bushel acre range where we are coming back up. Be interested to see if we get back in that area. Okay, we're up to 45 right now. 47. Zoom back out so you can see the crop is getting uh, better here. Jumped up to around 50 here. 49, 50. Right now we've got our averaging set at about uh, four seconds. It is adjustable from one to 15 seconds, so it can take a little bit of the, the unevenness out. However, uh, we want it set fairly uh, quick right now so we can uh, make some kind of judgment in how the yield is lining up with what we would visually expect to see. Now you can see along here are some much taller plants than on the other end of the row. Uh, pretty heavily potted. I think they were coming in at around 13% moisture. Yeah. And now we're getting back up in the 50s again. Seven. Fifty-five. See the beans are much taller over here. Bill, there seem to be two varieties mixed in, two different colors. Is that yeah, true? Yeah. And I that just kind of ran out of one. Just filled up the planter with a different same variety. Bean just a, uh, a different number. Uh huh. Same they're company. All, they're all a golden yeah. harvest bean, and they're just yeah. different varieties. Seldom ever empty them boxes all the way out. There's 24 of them. If I change varieties, they just uh -huh. put in one I need before I can make another round. So there's a few in here, right here, a little uh -huh. mother over now. You can see they're different. Uh -huh. The next round probably ain't got the lighter colored beans in. Still up around the 52 bushel per acre range here. Obviously, in this one pass, from one end of the field to the other, we're going from in the uh, mid-20s to the uh, mid-50s. The future may allow us to treat these fields, these ends of the fields differently, rather than treating it all as if it was one uniform mass. Now, it'll probably come out to average around uh, maybe 40 bushels the acre. But again, this end of the field, you're looking at some 53, 54. Yeah, just yeah. get down the end of the row here. Now it's just down to 30. Okay, 48. Now we'll pull the feeder house up. The acre, ha acre count stops. Back in again.